Men's Cup quarterfinals is go. France, right to left, all in blue. And it'll be early possession for Kayvon Williams and the USA. Madison Hughes to Steve Thomasine did well to bring that ball in behind it, but then threw the pass behind Baker in turn. So it'll be a throw to the lineup for Antoine Dupont in France. Yeah, I'm expecting France to really be physical against the USA. The USA have come with their big, especially in the forward pack. So I think last week where they found a lot of success with Vancouver is in their physicality. It should be fun, this too, because you're looking at the two highest offloading teams at the tournament so far. Andy Timo can't take the line out. That's a new skill for Antoine Dupont, that connecting with his jumpers, and that's a lucky break it's the knock-on from the usa oh that was a great lift by the usa to compete make that ball contestable schrader lifting up the front there just gets a hand on it team it's hard to overestimate how difficult it must have been for Antoine dupont to learn that new skill of throwing to the line out connecting with his leapers and all the movement that goes on at that set piece this is where he is so good under pressure Six. these situations he clears his ball so nicely Gives it to his old junior rugby teammate, Pauline Riva. Then Theo Fournier to Jefferson Lee Joseph, number 47. Fournier will play scrum half to Dupont. Ball in two hands. He's seen a gap hand. Tuan Dupont, look at him go. They will not catch him. This guy, he's only been around a couple of weeks. And already he's one of the best on show. Class is class, and this is this man here, the stop and go. Does Thomasine on the outside, uses the right hand fin. The players coming across. Kayvon Williams couldn't catch him. Madison Hughes couldn't catch him. Anton Dupont, this is why you start him, because he's class. Well, we mentioned last week in the semi final, didn't we, that France got knocked out, didn't get through to the final. He came on at half time in that game and changed the game completely. Starting in that match, they probably would have played for a gold medal in Vancouver. There you go, 52 test matches in 15s. Captain, of course, and now a real star of the seven circuits in Olympic year. This is his Olympic journey, of course. That's what it's all about. Here's Steve Thomasin. Can the USA hit back? Perry Baker tries to skip inside Fournier. Good tackle from Timo coming across. Hughes. There's a little knock on there, on the floor. Yeah, Timor saw it straight away, looked at assistant referee, assistant referee was straight on the money too. Good tackle from the inside. Perry Baker was the one you think he was away. Let's go. Now, where is it, Perry Baker? Just, oh, Hartsy, yeah, just at the back end. Yeah, good call, right call. Coach! Yeah, good work from the officials to spot that as well. Fine! It's been a while since they've played in a last four game at home, the USA, Las Vegas. They won that event in 2019, went back to back. Here's Dupont again. He's got Joseph with him. Dummy holds on. Hughes puts him on the ground. Rivas there. They're going to work the short side again, and it's going to work out for them. No, it won't, because the tackle from Malachi Esdale is first class on Fournier. Oh, he's yeah. throwing the ball away. So this is a yellow. Oh, you lose your head. You've got to keep your composure in those situations. He got a little rub of the hair from Esdale, didn't he? Here it is here. Esdale comes across. Beautiful covering tackle. And then right here, he chucks it. What do you want? Yeah, zero tolerance and sevens for that. So they're down to six, France. Two minute. You can see Jerome Daray there with a word to him. My French ain't that great, but I can imagine what he's saying. There says it all from coach. coach. Here now, here's a chance to get it to the man on the edge, Perry Baker. You have Five. to the two sh one man short. Look how short they Six. are in defense here, France. Power comes on from France at the scrum, looking for the turnover, but it's a penalty not pushing straight is the call. Williams wants to go quick. He's got to take it on the mark or directly behind yeah, no, no, no. it. Still on to get it. Right. Oh, he's bringing it up. up. Already 30 seconds off the sim bin of Fournier, but how can the USA try and take advantage of this power play? Hughes, Williams, quick hands to Schrader. Now Cummings. Cummings second in try sit two try assists for the USA this weekend already. Let's play the first knock that on. hasn't worked out for them. First That's gone over on. the sideline. So both teams guilty knock of perhaps not protecting the ball. 
nothing the USA a bit frustrated three times have gone to the edge three times I've turned it over even Joe Schrader was talking to assistant referee the frustration and it's still going on this is all time off the yellow card though as well there you go errors in this game crouch bit of a story so far but now Dupont he's only got two backs to work with here this is new Fine. for him again with uh Fournier and the sim feeds the scrum actually fed that scrum on the right hand side here he has the ball again That's yeah he three. come to the open and switched all the way around right wasn't deliberate because the ball didn't go forward but you ran into me yes, so scrum, your ball. and he's done this so he can get a clearer pass no, so no, he can pick which side he puts the ball and in the ball so that's backwards. smart for him to be able to get the quick ball out with but you so rarely Thank see you. it don't you rudimentary you feed it from the left hand side you hook the hooks with the right foot just always thinking about different ways to do things to try and Let's go. give him the space waiting. on the open side to get the ball away well, there you go. They're back to the full seven now, and didn't cost them a thing. France. Fine. Six. Dupont again. Now to the normal left-hand side. Advantage. He's going to work the short out. side with Reva. No, he's not. He's going to come back the other way. Back to Sefo. Sefo, big, tall man, plenty of pace as well. Williams is onto him. Fournier, Riva, Dupont, Rebage. Ryan Rebage to Timo, and he'll run it in. It'll be two on the board for France. They weathered the storm when they went down to six, and immediately they put more points on the board. Well, a couple of things. In the middle of the park, Dupont's just owning it with his little stop-and-go plays. And then on the edge, they're being physical. They're carrying hard. Rebage, see him there, putting his head down and offloads it beautifully timed. Now to Andy Timo who hit that ball at 100 miles an hour. Yeah, this guy, 19 years of age, from the Massy Club in Paris. Really stepping up for France here in the quarterfinal. Been a good start for them. Riva will add an extra two points. So two maximum scores for the French against the host, the USA. They lead at 14-0 in the quarterfinal. Dearly want to get through to a cup semi-final on finals day tomorrow. Sefo though wins it off the restart. But now Stephen Thomasine coming across. Antoine Dupont, he dicks it inside. But Kayvon Williams, who's on 99 tries. Is that ball out? Fournier thinks so. No, says the referee. Oh, this might be a double double card. Yellow, this is a red. It's the same player. It's Theo Fournier. I'm not sure Jacobs has realized that yet. He's digging into his pocket again. Fournier knows. Number 20. Number 20. Thomasine has gone up and told AJ Jakob, and here it comes. And that's your second yellow. That becomes a red card. Oh dear. Theo Fournier, double yellow, red. France will play the rest of this quarterfinal with six players. Just hold, just hold. All good. Big, big opportunity for the USA Come now. Back. Trailing by two converted tries. Thomasine. Esdale, Hughes, Baker. Shelsef read it really nicely. Good work defensively from France, playing with just six. Schrader again. Thomasine, Williams, it might work out for them now. Cummings hasn't held on to the pass. It's gone forward. It was a run-in, but perhaps he saw Dupont coming across. Oh, what about the scramble from France on their own five-meter line? Subs. This is brilliant. Look at the way... They take, this is the kick off the restart with the red card or yellow card, second yellow has happened. I reckon that's rough to be fair. That's pretty rough to get a yellow for that. And this is just the back end of it. But the defense was so good on the scramble for France. That tells the story. Alona knows that's a chance missed. Plenty of time to go over six minutes. Back on. And so on Dupont will use all his experience. He'll slow it right down, take the full 30 Five. here to feed this one. Again, he's gone over the right hand Six. side. Back. To Reva. 
They're going to have to play narrow here, France. All of their players are within about 20 metres of the near touchline. There's Dupont, has it again. Gives it to Riva. They work it outside their 22. Timo again wisely decides to straighten the attack. Dupont's going to work the short side again. No, he's not. He gives it back to Sefo. He's got Joseph to his left. Thomasine's going to try and chase him down. He gets through the tackle of Steve Thomasine to Jordan Sefo. Really good carry from the big man. This is all time off the clock as well, remember. Line speed from Pinkelman in the USA. Dupont again. Just buys a bit of time, allows Joseph to get their Saka. penalty France. That'll help as well. Oh, that's massive relief for this French unit. They scrambled. They had made some smart decisions when they needed to, but it was their carry, as you said, from Sefo on that far side of the field. They were enabled to release the valve just a little bit. Fresh legs coming on for France. Vadi and Pasca is going to replace Jordan Sefo and Warren Bits is out there for the USA also. Here's the mark. Just hold for me. This is a fascinating game now, isn't it, KT? Because France have got a, a double score lead. Bear on you. But they've got to play a long time with six players. You get the feeling though with Dupont out there. They feel they can manage this situation. Oh, no doubt. And that's the thing. He's been in high pressure situations. On many occasions, he knows how to win. He knows how to game manage in these situations. He's the point guard in this game for France, for sure. He needs to throw the line out again here. He had one that didn't quite hit its target earlier. It's at the front to Timo. Down to Dupont. Can't get the pass away, so it gets on the floor and they'll recycle. Pasquet. 4.15 to go, 14-0 the scoreline. They work it back, clever again from France. Stay up. Timo. Pasquet again. Dupont once more, takes the Back tackle. Up. Pinkerman strips the ball away, but Back another up. penalty comes France's way. That's a smart play from Dupont. He caught it back to the blind. He called tackle. And just as the knee was going to dig, Pinkelman has to let him go. He didn't. So he watched Dupont's Let's calling go. it. He said, tackle there, and there's the rip. I'm sure the crowd agree with the decision. They are, of course, pretty partial to the USA, but that looked like a hairline. It's worked out, though, for this man, Dupont and France. Rebage. Bit of a go slow here from France, taking their time. They're over the halfway line now. Well, this is almost like an NFL like drive said. at the end of the Super Bowl, trying to work their way slowly upfield. Riva, Timo, Dupont takes the pass, that right foot step, and he'll head back towards company. He gets away from one, he gives it to Pasquet, stays in field, that's what it's all about. Got to be aware of your geography here as well, France. Okay, release now! Really smart stuff so far from the French playing with six. If they finish it off, it'll be very impressive. They decide to kick now for Joseph. It's bounced away from Baker for Jefferson Lee Joseph. There's the ball for Rebage. Looking to score a try. Six on seven here. Pasquet now. Dupont. Step. Twist, wrestle, and dish. Now Rabage. Up to the 22. There's the loose ball. Can the USA get their hands on it? They can't. It's anybody's. Dupont has it again. There's method in this madness here from France. 14-0 they lead. Playing with six for the majority of this half. Just two minutes to go now. Brilliant keep ball from France. USA just can't get their hands on it. Dupont has it again. He's been blindsided by Baker, but it's gone backwards again. Pasquet has it now. Extraordinary stuff in the quarterfinal. 150 to go. Here's Dupont. Good hands from Rebage. Joseph, is he brave to take him on the outside? Can't afford to get isolated. He flicks it back in field. It's gone over the sideline. USA will get a chance. They go quick. No, it was already set. 
Blue ball. Well, the French, 47 passes. Hang on, hang on. This could be a French throw here. It's come off a USA hand. Yeah. Time off, subs. This isn't referee has pointed to the French throw into here. We see it. Joseph gives it back and is the last touch from a USA player. Here we go. Here it is here. Does it come off Isdale? Oh. I think he's thrown that off his own leg. It's bounced over Esdale, gone over the sideline. Big break for France, that. Perez is out there. I'd have to say that was straight as a corner, so the USA now really have to get on their horse and set this quickly. Two scores in a minute. It's been done before. Well, they got seven on six, remember. Clock's ticking down inside the final minute. It's Time Madison off. Hughes Time to off. feed it. Lucas LeCamp, they need to hurry. Two maximum scores to take it the sudden death golden point. Time back on. Don't muck around, Five. get it to your star man, Perry Baker. LeCamp. Esdale. Pasquet, they get it away to LeCamp again, inside to Baker once more. Great work on defence here from France. Time running out for the USA. LeCamp has it. Joseph, they go and they commit three to that breakdown, only playing with six players. And they've got a penalty once again. Outstanding from France. Zadar this time, but they've all stood up. Oh, they have locked in defensively. France really has galvanized them there. Rear card they've had to. They've managed the bench as well. Jerome Dare, this is going to be a famous win for them under extreme circumstances. 26. Gondidio is going to get on the field as well. Thought it might have been oh so different after the four-nail yellow card. Now they can just manage time. 14 seconds to go. Rabaj isn't in a hurry, is he, to get off the field? Oh, how good was he? Under all Five. sorts of pressure. Six. Extraordinary after the double yellow red to Fournette to pull this one off. Iragu Hart, there's the siren for full time. France just needed to need to get it off the park and they do so. It might not have been the prettiest picture we've ever seen, but in terms of strength and adversity, you can hang that second half in the Louvre. France 14, USA nothing. France through to the semi-finals.